Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a day for my next video, Hollywood's Brainwashing 2. Cinema is the magic. What is the magic? To, an to answer this question, I will sincerely commend you to watch the first part of my video, Hollywood's Brainwashing. Without the understanding of how we are getting brainwashed, psychologically and on other levels, it's difficult to understand how they are brainwashing us and making us to participate in their magic. For those who are the first timers on my channel, I will recommend that you start to watch from the first introductions. Old world order, the world we lost. Otherwise, it's impossible to understand who is the enemy and how she is acting. For the beginners, I have to explain that at the beginning of the 19th century, the earth was completely bombed with thermal nuclear weapons. And the enemy who destroyed our land took away all our natural resources, especially uranium. The enemy hasn't left. They are still here. It wasn't their attention to leave, right from the beginning. There is something about the nature of this enemy. This is what my channel is all about. To be the enemy, we have to know who they are and find out their weakness. Let's start now. How they are controlling us? Since the beginning of the 19th century, they have been hiding and almost invisible, not attracting any attention. So the slaves are thinking that they are free. Of course, the different international institutes for controlling the countries and supranational organizations like the United Nations, for example. There are secret societies like the Freemasons, the Illuminati, Bilderberg Group, Knights Templar, Skull and Bones, and so on. There is enough information about these control systems, and there are six levels of control. Conceptual level is the first one. It is not direct. Cinema is working on this level. In a previous video, we understood the methods and mechanisms for introducing concepts and conceptual values on a level of behavior reactions and on a value system. There is a super effective instrument on this level, besides symbolism, which I will call magic. Our enemy is using the instrument very successfully in a different rituals in the secret societies. There are exactly the same instruments they are using in a cinema. One of the instruments here is a predictive programming. There is no randomness in the mega brains of our enemy. Everything is connected. The more people participating in this process with their energies, the more effective it is. That's why the cinema is the most suitable instrument to involve people to this magic for their speedy embodiment. I would like to say a few words about Egregore. Surprisingly, when people act together, they are much, they are much easier, faster and more productive to complete tasks and achieve their goals. Have you ever predicted something would happen to you, and then it actually happened? This is a self-fulfilling prophecy. So what exactly is a self-fulfilling prophecy? Well, it's a prediction that causes a new behavior which makes your original prediction come true. Why? Because there's a link between belief and behavior. What you believe influences how you behave, and your behavior reinforces your beliefs which reinforce your behaviors. This is a positive feedback loop between belief and behavior. In other words, your prediction comes true because you behave in a way that makes it happen, whether it's consciously or subconsciously. Think about all the times you predict your own failure or underestimate your ability and then you turn out to be correct. That's because you become what you think about. 
The mind is like the farmer's land. It will grow whatever you plant. Positive thoughts or negative thoughts. The mind has absolutely no preference. Self-fulfilling prophecies don't always come true. There are always factors outside of your control. But self-fulfilling prophecies are real and they are powerful. So when you're approaching a task or a goal, think about what it is that you want to achieve and truly believe it and your actions will follow accordingly. But together we can act only with those people who set themselves the same tasks, pursue similar goals and have a similar outlook on life to our worldview. Uniting with people who profess the same values as we do, we not only gain confidence in ourselves, but also activate our strength, which begins to increase exponentially. An egregore, which is an astral group mind, can be either negative or positive, depending on the level of vibration and the frequency. So if we will look with the open mind, we will see that the magic exists and works. I would say that the magic is a distance impact on events and phenomena with the help of communications. Let's have a quick look on a simple voodoo magic. It is a subject magic. The subject is a person. For that kind of magic, they are using a doll called a vault, usually made from a black wax. It has to be very identical to the person. Vault is representing and has some ingredients of the person's part as blood, hair, sperm or saliva. At least three items from them, that's the way they are spiritualizing it. The Supreme Forces has to recognize the human without the mistakes. We are creating our reality by ourselves, with the help of our consciousness. The thoughts are material. We are visualizing the thoughts that human can achieve a lot. So when they are creating a doll vault, they are making an exact copy of the informational object which later goes to be influenced by energy information manipulations. The information is working in a pure matter, without matter. There is some information which does not need any proof. For example, some experiments with the memory of the water or the exper experiences with the homeopathy. Homeopaths take one part of the solution and mix it with nine parts of water, diluting it down to one-tenth of its original concentration and shaking it. What you have now is a 1x potency, one part ingredient and nine parts solvent, named after the Roman numeral X for 10. Now this process is repeated. Take one part, mix it with nine parts of pure water and shake it vigorously. Now you have 2x. You do this again and again until you reach the desired grade of potency. The finished remedy is then taken orally or sometimes it's applied as little sugar pellets that are sold as globuli. A 20x potency, for example, is like dissolving one aspirin pill in the water volume of the whole Atlantic. But many are much more extreme, like 30C, for example. C means that the mixture has one part ingredient and 99 parts water. So the commonly sold 30C mixture means one part ingredient and one million billion 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 parts of water. The explanation of why the mixtures still work is that shaking the mixture after every dilution leaves behind a spirit-like essence of the ingredient. Basically, the idea is that water remembers what was put into it. Samuel Hockneyman is the father of homeopathy and discovered a process called homeopathic delusion. This process involves repeatedly diluting a cho chosen substance, typically until there is nothing, that is not even a single molecule of the original substance is likely to remain in the product. And it makes the dilutions to remember the original substance after its removal. 
Of course, the official mainstream science are denying all of these researches. And to summarize, energy informational interaction works. When we are creating the exact information copy vault, we can just project on it the result we need. In other words, the matter is not needed when creating the vault. On the video, you can see an experiment with a young woman. She was asked to sit on a chair and to keep her eyes closed. The, magi the magician is holding in his hands a doll, which is a copy of the woman. He slapped the doll a few times and the woman was feeling these slaps on her body. At the end of experiment, the magician began to choke the doll with a rope and the woman was telling the audience about this strange feeling as if someone was squeezing her neck. In the cinema, they are using the same system. There is always a main hero and a large amount of people who are voluntarily associating themselves with this hero. They are associating themselves not only with the hero, but also with the events. They are voluntarily participating in the energetic informational process, ritual. What is happening on a screen is happening on some energetic informational level. What is happening on this informational level sooner or later is going to become reality. So what is required for the energy to work? First of all, we have to turn off the subconsciousness because the subconsciousness only helps in a positive acts and filtrating the negative programs. That's why in meditation is so important to stop the thoughts and to clear the mind. In a simple magic, the people just monotonously whispering a plot, like in a modern rap music. That's how they are bringing consciousness into a trance condition and projecting the images and the sequences of events, avoiding the consciousness. Correct. Correction. Avoiding the consciousness straight to the subconsciousness. There are plenty different ways to disconnect the consciousness and then enemies are using all of them. For example, there are specific rhythms which are stopping the consciousness. Usually it's 120 beats per minute. They're using it in a rock music and so on. The light flashing, rap, monotonous speech, like a prey or plot. They're also using the another techniques for downloading lots of programs in our consciousness, okay. bringing some on the front and casting another images in a back line. Correction, bringing some on the front and casting another images in the background. That's how the parasites are using us for the real realization of their plans. A, a quick summary. Energetic information impact is exist and acts straight through the TV, cinema and Hollywood productions. Using the techniques of downloading symbols in our consciousness and through associations of artificial linkings to the artists and their acting on a TV screen, the enemy is using us to achieve her goals without us knowing it. We can counteract two ways. Passive way to realize what is happening to us and another way to actively create our own videos with counter programs. Even if only one person in the field is a warrior, he is a warrior. That's how, it's, how it works in energetic informational field. But of course, for the quickest results, the more people that are involved is better.
That's why we have to stay together. Please like, repost, copy the video. Remember, together we are the power, we are the resistance. a million life forms on a million planets it could change to any one of them at any time. Now it wants life forms on Earth. If I was an imitation, a perfect imitation, how would you know if it was really me? If a person's blood, you can mix it with uncontaminated blood. I suppose if there's a reaction, we'd know who isn't human. brain evolved to do this. It's a natural function. A natural function? Yeah. We're not touching the hardware. Just hacking the software. Giving them a cheat code for the final level. So the experiment took a turn. It didn't take long to finish the sequence. Join the dots. We named it the brain hack. The brain Мы быстро доделали последовательность. Соединили точки. Мы назвали это взлом мозга. Get the adrenaline pump. Beat the defense mechanism. Because at the end of the film, show the brain hack. Live and uncut. <laughs> Wow.